if we put the object at twice the focal length for a converging device, it'll have uh, a magnification of negative one. Negative because it's inverted, and one because it's right on the border between shrunk and magnified, so it's the same size. But if you put the object at exactly on the focal length for a converging device, um, you get infinite magnification. Okay. Uh, in a sense, there's almost no image here. Now, of course, in real life, nothing is ever precise. Nothing's ever right at the focal length. So what this just means is, when the object is very, very close to the focal length, the image is very, very big. When the object is very, very close to the focal length, the image is very, very big. That's what the practical meaning of this infinite magnification means. Okay, so that, I think it's pretty obvious that this is where the image is the same size as the object. This is not quite so obvious. You want to label that in your diagram. Um, so, anytime you move away from this point, the image is shrinking. So, as we move the object in this direction for a converging device, the image gets smaller and smaller. As we move the object to the right in this region, we get, uh, the image gets smaller and smaller. What happens if we move the object in this direction? in this region for a converging device? Is it getting bigger and bigger or smaller and smaller? smaller. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say shrinking here. I should say, uh, I don't know what to say, getting smaller. Because notice you can be getting smaller even in the magnified region. Mm -hmm. So here the image is still bigger than the object, but it's getting less and less bigger than the object. So I won't say shrinking. Uh, I'll say getting smaller. All right, so what's happening here? I think we said we're getting smaller here. Getting smaller if you move to the left here. If you were moving to the right here, you'd be getting bigger. All right, and what happens if we have a diverging device and we move away from the diverging device? Is the image getting bigger or is the image getting smaller as the object is moved away from the diverging device? Um, smaller. Yeah, uh, because we're getting away from this point here, which was the maximum magnification. So the image is again getting smaller here. So I guess I wrote getting smaller over all the arrows, because all the arrows are pointing away from this point here. This is the point of infinite magnification, which basically means no image. Another way to see that is um, over here, we're neither shrunk or magnified. Is it possible to be neither shrunk or magnified? Well, yeah, it just means you're the same size. So this was just an image that was the same size. But should this be real or virtual? Well, if you think about this, this can't be real or virtual because it's on the border. This can't be real or virtual. But is it, is it possible to be neither real nor virtual? No. So that, again, that kind of shows that there's not, there's, if, you were, if you could put a point directly on the focal point, there would be no image. In real life, nothing is ever a single point, and it's never exactly at the focal point. But mathematically speaking, if you could put a point object directly at the focal length, um, it, there would be no image at all. And the way you see that mathematically is um, the, the chart tells us it can't be real or virtual. Well, there is no alternative to that. Or the chart also tells us you'd have infinite magnification, which again means really no image. Okay. Um, again, the real, in the real world, what this means is if we're over here, very close to the focal point, but bigger, then we have a huge real image. Mm -hmm. Here we have a huge real image. And over here, we're very close to the focal point in a converging device but um, we are a little bit closer uh, to the image, to, to, the, uh, to the device and the focal point. So here we have a huge virtual image. And at this point, um, the light is so magnified that it's really no image at all. Okay, so this is another interesting point uh, over here. Um, if you could put the object directly on top of the device, what could you say about the size of the image then? If we could put the object directly on top of the on top of the lens of the mirror, what could you say about the, the size of the image then? Shrunk or magnified? Is it either? Say again? Is it either? So this is a borderline again. It can't be shrunk or magnified. So which is it? It can't be shrunk or magnified. Because it's on the border between shrunk and magnified. So so it's not a real image. Then. Take your time with that. Think about it's what happened over here. Yeah, it's possible to be neither shrunk nor magnified. There's nothing paradoxical about saying that an image is neither shrunk nor magnified. Remember, that's what happens every time you look in a plane mirror. Did we talk about plane mirrors last time? Yeah. yeah. Every time you look in your bathroom mirror, your image is neither shrunk nor magnified. 
That's the way normal mirrors work. Um, so we shouldn't be surprised that we can even here get an image that's the same size. So again, here we're at the border between shrunk and magnified. So if we think through the logic very carefully, we should see that if we could put something right at this border, right on the device, the image would be the same size as the object. Now, logically speaking, you can't put something right on the device because the device is there, right? You can't have two things in the same place. So you could never put something right at the position of the device. But what this really means is if the object is very, very close to the lens or mirror, then the image is almost the same size as the object. The practical implication of this is that if the object is very, very close to the lens or mirror, um, that uh, the image is almost the same size as the object. And you can see from the picture that would work for either being very, very close to a converging lens or mirror or being very, very close to a diverging lens or mirror. Um, you can be almost the same size. Okay, so there's some other uh, pieces of information here uh, that we, uh, that's useful to have this table for. Now, everything we said, you could work out algebraically from the lens mirror equation. You could prove all the facts we said here by doing algebra on this lens mirror uh, equation. That might be a fun homework assignment. But uh, it would be certainly e uh, tedious and easy to make mistakes doing it that way. So it's really a lot easier to come up with a lot of these ideas um, by just using the table that we have over here. Especially since you can, uh, you're allowed to just use that as your cheat sheet. So you'll have that. Okay. So far so good? Yep. Remind me, what's the magnification equation? Um, is it h prime over h? That's one version. Now, there's another equation that we use more often than this one. Yeah. You can look it up in your notes if you need to. That's fine, since you'll, you'll have that in your cheat sheet. Sometimes you might see different symbols than these used, but I, I, think, I think your instructor always uses these symbols. Yeah. Okay, so remember, uh, what do all these stand for? What does M stand for? Magnification. And what's this symbol stand for? Um, the image height. Yeah, we're going to use this symbol for the height of the image. And this and one. that's for the height of the object. Yeah, and this symbol. That's the image, uh, the image distance. Yeah. So uh, oftentimes we use S yeah. for distance. So this is the image distance, and this is the distance. yeah. That is, this is how far the image is from the lens or mirror, and this is how far the object is from the lens or mirror. Uh, so different textbooks use different symbols, but your textbook uses these symbols, and I think your instructor uses the same one. So image distance and object distance. Okay. There's no negative sign here, by the way. Okay. What you already said. So these are the right equations. Okay. And uh, we know how to interpret this. Remember. Uh, how do we know when an object is magnified, looking at M? What, what would how would M tell you that we have a, a magnified image? If it's greater than 1. In absolute value. In absolute. When the absolute value of M is greater than 1. And then that means we, the image is magnified. The image is bigger than the object. Uh, and then when it's shrunk, that would be? When it's the absolute value of M is less than 1. That's right. We already talked about what the sign means. Positive sign means upright, negative sign means inverted. And now let's focus on the absolute value. So let's say you have a magnified image. What's bigger? The image distance or the object distance in absolute value? If I, if I tell you that the image is magnified, that the image is bigger than the object, we should be able to use this equation to say, is that because the image distance is bigger than the object distance or smaller than the object distance? So then that means that the image distance is smaller? Like this? Yeah. All right, let's work that out. Um, if you have a magnified image, what does that tell you about M? It's absolute value greater than 1. And here's the formula. When would this be bigger than 1? when the numerator is bigger than the denominator or smaller? Bigger. Bigger. So I think we have to reverse this? OK. Uh, I should have put absolute value signs here, too. We're just focusing on absolute value signs here. Maybe to get rid of the absolute value signs, you know I like to use a dot for magnitudes. That'll be a lot less cumbersome yeah. here. So the dot just means absolute value here, basically. But that's a little less cumbersome. We 
know oftentimes that the magnitude of a variable gives you different information than the sign. So it's helpful just to use a dot to focus on the magnitude. So we'll use the dot instead of uh, to sign stand basically for absolute values. Okay. Um, so focusing on the magnitudes, the absolute values. Remember, magnitudes are always positive, like absolute values. And we have to change this. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Um, well, uh, I just want to say uh, this is something you should know. You should know that things are magnified when the image is further from the device than the object. Things are magnified when the image is further from the device than the object. <laughs>